Hi, I'm Andre, and I'm a black nerd, and it's time once again for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mega Bloks Toys. Mega Bloks Power. Mega Bloks has been cool enough to sponsor my channel because they know I like Ninja Turtle stuff, and they are putting out the line of Ninja Turtle construction sets. I've been covering the Retro Collector series, and now it's gotten super retro. For the first time, they are creating Eastman and Laird style Ninja Turtle Mega Bloks. That means black and white, all red bandanas. It's like the classic Ninja Turtle comics. So here are the four individual turtles. They are built so you can see what it looks like once you have them out of box. Just like with the cartoon series versions, they have the holes in the back of their shells and they have the holes on the bottom of their feet. So you can either choose to put them on the base to have them showcased off that way, or you can put them on the pipes. So that way it looks like that they're jumping in the air or doing a ninja move. Go ahead, Donatello, looking like he's jumping in the air. Smooth, Donatello. And they come with these really neat comic panels that you can put on the pipes as well. Kind of makes it look like they're jumping outside of a comic book. They have the metal die cast shell, just like the other ones do. It's a very nice look, a uh, very good paint job to make it look like it came right out of the comic book. I just love that they're doing it in that classic Eastman and Laird style. You see a lot of Ninja Turtle figures that are current Nickelodeon Turtles or movie Turtles or even the classic 80s series cartoon Turtles, but you don't see a lot of Turtle figures that look like the origins, the Turtle Prime. So that's why it's nice to see them done in this style. This is them OG Turtles right here. These these are not the wise cracking, telling jokes, eating pizza type of Turtles. These are the slice and dice and first issue type of Turtles. They don't play around. <laughs> so these are the two Eastman and Laird style play sets. We have Rooftop Combat and we have Street Showdown. So Street Showdown has the second time around Antique Shop. Nice reference to April's Antique Shop. You get Raphael and you get Casey Jones, which is nice. This is actually cool that you're getting a Casey Jones figure and classic black and white Casey Jones he's got his weapons that you could actually pull out and have him hold It's holding a golf club right now we got of course the baseball bat no cricket bat unfortunately I don't see that in there <laughs> you gotta understand what crump it is to play cricket and what's nice is that they have the bases that you can put them on or there's also little pegs on the set so that you can actually just attach them directly to the set the turtles are a different shade of color than when you buy them individually. Raphael in the individual set is a little bit grayer scale, whereas the Raphael in the Street Showdown set and the same with Leonardo in the Rooftop set is a little bit of a darker scale. So that way, if you end up buying both, you got two different styles. What I also love about this set is uh, <laughs> it has a door that opens. <laughs> Shop. And if you look on the inside there, you can see that it has different cool images of antiques in the background. It's got little shelves up there on this side. You've got little bricks coming out 3D style on the other side. So it gives it like a nice little depth there. I love the checkerboard floor. It even comes with a treasure chest. Da -da -da -da. Yep, it opens up and inside of it is a little tiny, I don't know what it is, a little tiny comic. It's a little bitty, itty bitty Raphael comic. Let me read this. Oh, fascinating. Mm. The rooftop set. This one has Leonardo, who's doing a little bit of a gangsta lean right here right now because I got him pegged to the rooftop, but I can move him around any way I want to. And we also get <gasps> the Shredder. He looks very, very classic. He's got his helmet, of course. He's got his little, this is made out of fabric. This is like actual fabric cloth that's right there. So that's kind of neat. I'm not gonna look up it because that's just nasty. They also have their bases as well if you want to put them on a base, but you can also just stick them directly to the roof. They got a couple of pegs on the rooftop. They're two small bases that this wire connects to, like a, a little grappling hook power line. I wonder if I can actually have one of them hold that. That'd be kind of neat. Let's see, I think I can, I think I can do it. Put that in your hand, Leonardo. Oh yeah, turtle power, <laughs> yes! That's awesome. Oh man, you can actually have them dangling. That's pretty cool. I should have probably did it with the other hand, but still, you get the gist, there it is. Ah, come here, Shredder. You will never defeat me. I am the Shredder. Huh? Oh wait, what's this? Oh, it's a tiny version of our comic book. So meta right now. Oh my gosh, yep. It comes with a little tiny, tiny version of the Ninja Turtles 
first issue. And what's neat about this, if you turn it around, it actually has a little office inside of here. It even has a little chair and everything. So after Shredder defeats Leonardo, he's like, ah, oh, I defeat you. Now I'm gonna go to work and work on some sales figures. Doop -ba -doop -do 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 -do. I'm a working Shredder. Doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -do. And again, like I said, with Raphael, with Leonardo, when you buy this set, he looks a little bit different, a little darker tone than, than Leonardo that comes in the individual set. These are Toys R Us exclusives. So if you wanna get these, Toys R Us is the place to find them. But can't leave out those 87 turtles. Next up is the classic party wagon. This is done in 87 turtles out. Oh, and it rolls. It rolls. <laughs> Wee! Cowabunga, dude! Clearly the turtle van from the 87 animated series. It even says on the back there, TMNT 1987 on the license plate. It comes with three figures. It comes with a Michelangelo figure. It comes with a Shredder figure. And Shredder is decked out. It's definitely cartoon Shredder even has his cape, which is a, made out of fabric cloth, so it look, feels like a legit cape. Tonight I died on turtle soup. I'll destroy you, turtle. And then who's there getting that story? April O'Neil. Yes, we finally get ourselves an April O'Neil figure. She is a part of the set now. She comes with a video camera as well as a turtle communicator. So if she needs to contact the turtles, she's good to go. She's got the classic April O'Neil cut, that haircut, that yellow jumpsuit, looking sharp. She can attach herself to the turtle van if she wants to. Now you're thinking this turtle van is pretty cool because <laughs> April is just, she is ghost riding this turtle van right now. This will be a great story. It also has doors. This door can open. This door can open. The sides also open up as ramps. So I can open this side like this. Boom. You can actually stick figures inside of there. You can put them on the ramp. People that watch the classic cartoon may remember this opens up to the side and it's got the blaster inside. So that's really awesome. So you could actually have Mikey behind it here if you wanted to, and he's running the blaster. Totally tubular, dudes. That's really cool. <laughs> so that's very, that's authentic. You know, that, that's showing that they're really paying attention to detail to make it just like the cartoon series. In the back, the back also opens up. You got doors in the back, and it even has like a skateboard on the back that you can detach. So that way, if you want to have Mikey on a skateboard, you can get your pose ready. Because I got that points of articulation. I can put that foot out. There you go. Hang 10, dudes. Cowabunga! This is legit. I love this. This is an awesome looking turtle van. It looks just like the one from the cartoon series, even having all the specific pieces inside. That's going to be really neat to showcase. This is going on the shelf right now. I'm, I'm putting this up here right now. Shredder, you get on top of that. I have taken over the turtle van. Now there's one more thing that they are putting out. This is a Toys R Us exclusive and it is so big that they couldn't even send me the actual built version of it. They could only send me the box of it and that would be the Technodrome. So what I have here, <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the biggest set ever in Ninja Turtles Mega Bloks history. This is the Technodrome. You can see from the, the box what it looks like that it does open and it comes with a Leonardo figure. It comes with a Master Splinter figure. This is the first time we're getting Master Splinter in the Ninja Turtles Mega Bloks set, at least for the retro line. And it even comes with Krang with his classic Krang Walker device. I'm gonna put some pictures up right now. Here's pictures of what it looks like when it's fully built. I did not have time to build it before making this video, but I wanted to show it to you to show you how it looks. Maybe if I get one free day in my life to just sit back and relax and a little drink on my side and a little mint julep, play some uh, some classic music, and then just you know spend a day in the zone building this thing, then that day will come. Until then, enjoy these pictures. <laughs> Let me show you the inside of the box, just to show you what you got coming for you if you try to do this. You ready for this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so here's the book, just to show you how complicated it's gonna be. This is the manual to build this Technodrome. Look at how big this manual is. That's crazy. Look, there's a nice little picture of Krang on the back. There you go. I think this manual is bigger than that Harry Potter and the Cursed Child book or whatever the thing came out. That's bigger than a Harry Potter book right there. Got some really cool pictures inside so you can kind of get a little layout of what it looks like. That is really nice. This is good artwork inside. It's just, man, that is, that is crazy. Then it's like one set and here's the other one. And there's even like artwork on the boxes that hold all the pieces. I mean, that's just great. Very detailed. They did a good job in it. 
the packaging for this. Shredder! You got to build the Technodrome! I don't think I can get up because this Technodrome is just stuck on me right now. There's no way I can get up. This Technodrome has literally got me trapped. I just can't move. This Technodrome is so heavy inside. Oh man, I'm gonna lift this every day. I'm gonna be strong. Let me know what you think about these figures and sets. And are there any other Ninja Turtle characters that you would love to see turn into Mega Bloks form, whether they're from the Eastman and Laird comics or from the retro animated series? Let me know in the comments. Thanks again, Mega Bloks, for these awesome toys and for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. It's Ninja Turtles, so it's a perfect fit anyway. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Addy 5000, Chain Chomp Young. Bye, everybody.